Okay, so recently I've been seeing this music video everywhere. Personally, I'm a massive fan of the top line melodies on some of these tracks. And there's a couple videos on this sound, but most of them are trying to emulate the vocals rather than the instrumental. So in today's one, I thought I might as well try making a beat in the style of four bats. All right, so I'm in FL Studio again. Now this style of production reminds me a lot of like Brent Fails or something close to that. So I'm gonna slow it down to like 135, 136, something like that. And there doesn't seem to be too many elements in these beats. So I'm gonna try not to complicate it too much. I say that, but I'm gonna end up using like 50 sounds. First thing that comes to mind with these beats, electric piano. So I'm gonna go to my favorite Rhodes piano. And I think I'm just gonna mess around in the piano roll, see what I can come up with. I'm gonna try and make something in F minor though. <laughs> the velocities a bit. I'm gonna add a couple notes here as well. Okay, I'm kind of concerned that these sound a bit too similar to the reference, but I reckon I might just go with it for now. I'm gonna mess with the velocities a little bit as well. I think I want to lay the chords with something. I'm gonna copy and paste the chords in here. I'm gonna remove the irrelevant notes a little bit. Okay, I like the glide on this sound, so I'm just going to copy and paste the chords again. And then I think that's enough layers, so I'll probably move on to something else. Okay, this needs a bass line. I might actually go staccato for this one. I think in these gaps here, I'm gonna add a slide somewhere. Okay, I'm getting bored of layering stuff over the root notes, so I'm gonna add some ornamentation. I want some kind of call and response to that, so... I can already feel that I'm gonna add way too many of these. I think I'm gonna look for another sound in Analog Lab 5. I'm gonna throw some halftime on it, see if it sounds any better. And to make up for the halftime, I might just pitch up like one octave. Okay, I'm getting bored again, so I'm gonna keep going with the accents. There's too much delay on that, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Alright, I think it might be time to add some percussion. I did notice in the reference that I'm using, has a very distinctive shaker pattern. Okay, now time for the fun part. Where did I even get this sound?
the drums like that because I want to keep them really simple. I know there's too much going on in this beat already, but I am going to add one more thing. I'm going to go into contact and I'm going to throw some strings on this as well. I'm going to lower the dynamics by a lot though. And right now I'm using the long crescendo setting. Okay, well, I may have just completely derailed the beat, but I think it's fine. But real quick, I'm going to mix down all the melodic elements and the drums. I'm going to arrange the final beat, and then we can see what it sounds like. So overall, it's still a very simple beat. I also added the acapella for the reference track that I'm using. And I think me personally with the acapella, it sounds way too close to the reference. But otherwise, I think it sounded good. So once again, of course, I want to say a big thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration to make your own 4-bass type beats, this video helped you in some way. And I did listen to this a while ago, but I've kind of forgotten what it sounds like. So now I'm going to listen to it again with the acapella. Why you keep on coming in?